with some folks. Old so, school John Cena. You think you're I like this one. War life. They should still, they should still, they should come back with some thought. Dr. Thugonomics, but that'll never happen. What's up, folks? G-Funk here. I minus Mr. X. He had a last-minute business uh, call he had to take, which was probably going to go longer than, unfortunately, 20 minutes. So here I am solo. But he said, should be here next time. Cross my fingers. Um, I put my topic out there. Top 10 favorite sports movies of all time. This was hard because I... You know, I have so many sports movies that I like. Um, if I would have done top 20, it probably would have been more... A little bit easier, so I had to really narrow it down to ten. Um, my first one is *A League of Their Own*. Uh, Tom Hanks is great. There's no crying in baseball. That's why I always remember that movie for that line. And Madonna being in that movie, and Rosie O'Donnell and Gina Davis. It was a good cast. Uh, it was funny. You know, women's baseball was you know wasn't that big um, for a while. You know, back then, I mean, like now there's no women's baseball, but like back then it was you know when the boys were away overseas, it was it was kind of a big deal. So um, you know, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, next one is The Miracle. Uh, it's a hockey movie. Um, I really enjoyed that one. Uh, it was you know, the USA team when they beat Russia, which no one thought they were going to win because they were playing all amateur kids and they had all professionals and stuff. So that movie definitely was pretty cool just because it was based on real life. Um, the Sandlot. The Sandlot was a great baseball movie. Um, the kids in that are all grown up now. I don't even know what year that movie was. I can't remember. 19... Shoot, I'll say ninety something, ninety three maybe. I don't know, but it was it was a great movie. It's funny. Um, uh, James Earl Jones was in it. Um, I don't think any of those kids are even around acting today. But if they are, they're probably have minor roles. I don't think none of them became a big star. Bad News Bears, the original with um, Walter Matthau. The newer one with Bob, Billy Bob Thornton was okay. It was kind of eh, I didn't like it. I like Billy Bob Thornton, but I just didn't think he was a good, um, you know. And I don't think they should have picked somebody else to be him, but I just I like the original with uh, Walter Matthau because that one was really really funny. Number six, I had the White Man Can't Jump. That was probably one of the funniest movies with uh, Woody Harrelson and, and um, Wesley Snipes. It was it was great. It was you know it was th their timing and their funny they're, just their timing together was like perfect. Rosie Presley, she was hysterical. Um, just so many great lines from that movie. I can even I can even name them all because there there is that movie was super hysterical. Um, number five was Bull Durham. It's like the first, like, rated R movie that I saw. Like, not first, but first one that I, like, didn't really think it was going to be, like, they said, I mean, how can they make a baseball movie rated R, you know? Bull Durham, and it's a lot of sex scenes and stuff, and there's cursing, of course, but, um, you know, I love Kevin Costner, and, um, oh my god. Who's the other guy's name? Oh my god, I can't remember the other guy who starred in it. I'm just drawing a blank. Anyway, Susan Sarandon. Oh, my God. What's his name? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, um, Tim Robbins. He was he was really funny in it, too. They were, you know, nice pitch meet. He's like, oh, he like, knew I was throwing a fastball. Yeah, because I told him. You know, that, 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 was like far, that was like the funniest part of the whole, of the whole movie where he tells, me, tells the guy he's going to throw a fastball to, to the hitter, and the hitter waits for him to get to home run. It was pretty funny. Um, uh... Rudy was my number four. Um, great football movie. Um, I didn't really have any really other football movies on here, just because Rudy was, you know, was Notre Dame was one of my is my one of my favorite football uh, college football teams. Um, and just he was a little guy. Like I always thought I was a little guy too. So that movie had like a lot hit home with me because it was kind of the underdog guy who wasn't the biggest, but he was the, had the tough, you know, was the toughest and had the biggest heart and loved to play. And even though he made, the, he finally got to play the last game of the season, and it was really cool. Like I said, I, I really, it really, you know, was. Um, more of like a personal to me because I was like always the underdog kid. I didn't really wasn't a big ath star athlete or nothing, but I tried. I played you know best I could whatever at whatever sport I played at. So it kind of was like you know a little motiv motivational kind of uh, movie. Number three was Caddyshack. I can recite almost every line to that movie. You asked my mom and dad. I watched the movie almost every day when it first came out on video for like an entire year. Every day I got home from school, I'm like, I was like, what are you watching? Oh, I'm watching Caddyshack. I, I thought it was the funniest movie. Bill Murray, Chevy Chase. Uh, they, they were just hysterical. Like they, were, um, Brody Dangerfield. Uh, um, what's the other guy's name? The old guy. He passed away. But they, the, just the cast was amazing. So funny. The freaking the, the baby Ruth in the in the freaking pool thinking it was shit. That was like the funniest the funny part. Um, him with the, with Bill Murray with the gopher. Uh, Chevy Chase, no, 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 no. It was, it was just a great, 
fucking funny movie. I, to this day, I, I, if that comes out, I, I'll sit and watch it. I don't care. If it's in the middle of the end, beginning, I'll, I'll sit. It's just so funny. And like I said, I don't even like golf that much, so that's why it was, to me, it was, it just, it was just funny. Number two, Major League. This was my first baseball movie that I really enjoyed because it was comical. You know, Charlie Sheen, Tom Berenger. Um, you know, it was... <laughs> it was just funny. You know, it was... Uh, it, I just liked Tom Berenger so much because of um, his... Uh, his comedic delivery with Charlie Sheen. You know, he's, he's like, oh, how many... See, that wouldn't have a lot of po po uh, ballparks when you have the monster home. I was like, name one. Uh, Yellowstone? Like, it was, it was just so funny. And Joe Boo and... It was just a great, it was just a funny baseball movie that you didn't think, like, in, when they're sitting there in the, the beginning of spring training and, and um, uh, Serrano comes in, it's like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> it was just so funny. It was, the lines were great. It was one of my favorite baseball movies of all time. My number one favorite movie of all time was Rocky. I think that's everyone's favorite Rocky. You know, Rocky movie was great. It was, you know, boxing. Really, I wasn't much of a boxing fan. You know, I grew up, I kind of was, I grew up in the Mike Tyson era, mostly, which... To me, it was like the craziest time to watch boxing because after Mike Tyson, I really kind of thinned out, and I think boxing kind of became there's no like big name heavyweights that were really good. You know, Buster after Buster Douglas beat Mike Tyson, it was kind of like, all right, now what? Like there was nobody, and like I never really watched middleweight fights. Some guys here and there, but like I said, I don't watch boxing to this day. You know, it's all everything's like UFC, MMA. Excuse me. So um, I wasn't, you know, like I said, I wasn't a big boxing fan, but. Otherwise, I thought it was great. You know, Rocky was my number one. So that's my top ten all-time favorite uh, sports movies. Like I said, I wanted Mr. X to join, um, get a take on his. I know he wasn't said he wasn't really a big sports movie guy, but uh, he had a few that he would have probably mentioned. He, Rocky would probably be number one up on his list as well. But uh, anyways, hopefully next time you can join us and have a little. But I got some emails here. I'm gonna take. Um, I just want to talk about wrestling real quick. Just get into that just briefly. Um, it was good this week. Like I said, WrestleMania is still a few weeks away. They're building up a lot of matches, a lot of rumors and stuff going around. Uh, AJ Styles supposedly got hurt at a house show. Um, don't know if that's true. They said it might be just part of the storyline. Uh, he was at a house show last night. He supposedly wrestled. Uh, it wasn't a long match. So, like I said, I don't, I don't know. Um, and then another rumor, which is I don't, I think they this happened last year too, and it didn't happen, and I don't think it's going to happen again. With the whole um, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Shane McMahon storyline on SmackDown, you know, after they beat the crap out of him last week, they're saying that uh, it's going to be a tag team match, and he's going to have a tag team partner. A lot of people are saying it's going to be Dolph Ziggler. A lot of people say it's going to be Baron Corbin. And then the biggest rumor, which I don't think is going to happen because I don't want to get anyone's hopes up, and I don't definitely want to get my hopes up because I don't think it's going to happen, is Daniel Bryan's going to come finally out of retirement and wrestle again. He's supposed to have been cleared by every doctor. The WWE sent up to every doctor possible. He's been cleared by every doctor. I don't know what they want to do. Like, Daniel Bryan is one of the favorite. He's still a huge fan favorite. When his music comes on, the place goes apeshit. And, like, and if he comes back in the ring, forget it. The place is going to go go completely nuts. Um, like I said, Daniel Bryan is one of my favorites of all time. And I would love to see him get back in the ring. But if it's been over a year and they haven't cleared him yet, I don't want to get my hopes up and see him. If he comes back at WrestleMania, it'll have to be like the last minute change. Like... Say they make Dolph Ziggler, well, Dolph Ziggler can't make it or gets hurt or something, and Daniel Bryan's the last-minute substitution, the pop they will get in that arena will be deafening because if Daniel Bryan comes out and they don't expect it, the place is going to go ballistic. And I'll tell you right now, I will go nuts myself because I love Daniel He's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. And uh, John Wynn says Daniel Bryan's over. Dude, Daniel, Ryan, Daniel Bryan's one of the best in-ring performers in the last, like, ten years. I think he's he's a very good technical wrestler, submission wrestler. He's entertaining, you know, compared to, I, I think he's better than Roman Reigns. Honestly, I, know, I don't think Roman Reigns had the technical skill as much as Daniel Bryan had. But, like I said, I think uh, Daniel Bryan, he's just a huge, he's just a huge pop. You know, everyone loves him still. You know, he comes out, when he comes out on SmackDown, the place goes apeshit. He's one of the most beloved underdog wrestlers of all time. And I think that's why everyone loves him. Um, I'm going to try to find this, uh, hold on, this email here. I got from an old friend, Ward Brower. Um, hello, old friend. I'm happy you're back. Your show is very good. Here you go. Not sure if you heard, but I was recently engaged. I attribute much of my past advice you gave me to the success of this milestone. Congratulations, dude. Awesome. I listen to the show and think who you, who I think I know who your co-host is. My question is, how, how did you guys meet? I find it odd pairing, especially considering his history. Um, 
I don't know what that means, but no, me and Mr. X go way back from high school. We had a couple of classes together. Uh, he's, you know, he is a year younger than me. Um, but we had, you know, some wrestling. Uh, we had like a lot of interest in wrestling. We met up each other on Facebook, and uh, you know, we've we've talked talked on and on. He was a big fan of the show um, before I brought him in as a co-host. So, uh, like I said, he's I've known him for a while. Will you be going to the reunion in two years? Probably not. <laughs> I'm so relieved I'll have a female with me. I always had anxiety about an inability to get a female friend. Do you still live close to Napara? No, I actually moved. Um, many studies are showing exposure to chemicals that has led to fatigue, impotence, and ability to speak clearly. Not me, man. I have nothing, nothing affected me. I wish you much success in living out your dream. I believe in you, but most of all, continue in, and believe in yourself. Thanks, Ward. It's good to, good to hear you back, man. Good to hear your voice, and uh, thanks for the great email. And I got um, hold on, another one here that Mr. X sent to me earlier. Uh, here we go. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. It is from Arjun in India. Dear Mr. G Funk Jerry, happy so days of March in the year of our Lord to you. Please let me request and ask. I know you were instrumental in helping Deepak land a placement in the U.S. when he did a work study program. That was all him, man. The kid was super smart. He didn't need me. You know, I said, you know, go for it. You got nothing else to, you know, man. If you're really smart and you got the credentials, go for it. And if you don't, at least you tried. Um, as my goal is to work in California one day, can you please see if any families would host host myself and my wife, Lou and Pi, for three weeks during interview evaluations? U.S. Embassy will not allow for applications without a formal invite. That sucks, dude. Please put offer an offer on your show, and if interested, please have them email me for financial benefit. Also, please talk about the recent events with North Korea meeting as the world is looking to the U.S. to keep us safe. Thank you, G-Funk Cherry. May the grace of God keep you and your family happy, healthy, and prosperous. Arjun. Tell this Mr. Oh. Uh, Mr. X said he will be um, doing business in November in India. So if you want to get a hold of Mr. X, let him know. And maybe he can help you. Like I said, I, I can't help you. But Mr. X has some connections, so he might be able to help you. Um, and I have another email. I'm going to find in a second. Hold on one minute. I had so many emails. Well, not so many. I just don't have them in the right spots, that's all. Hope everyone had a good St. Patty's Day. We had a good one. It was fun. Had a good um, corned beef, and, corned beef and potatoes. My wife and I weren't really into the cabbage, you know, cabbage that much. So um, we just left out the cabbage and just went with potatoes, which was really good. Uh, let's see. Um, John Wynn has one here. Hold on, let me find it. I know you got it on here, buddy. You sent it to me earlier. Um, okay. Uh, any of those wrestling victims be joining Mr. X not saying? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Um, how does a guy like me go about meeting a female? You just gotta be yourself, man. Try, uh, Match.com, and there's a couple other good ones. There's a whole bunch of slew of, uh, online dating sites that are really good. Match.com, I heard, is really good. Um, I prefer a leggy, fit blonde that loves WWE and NASCAR. Good luck, dude, because those are rare, a few and far between. I am fun-loving and laid-back. I have a job now, too, so but my hours have been cut recently. I'm looking for another job. Eventually, I'm going to get an apartment. If you were me, where would you start? All help is appreciated. Um, looking for an apartment or looking for a job? A job depends on what your skills are. You know, what you got a degree in something. You know, I, you know try to find something with, your degree, with a degree that you're, you, know, you have. Otherwise, it's pretty much not worth your time. And I think you asked me another question here, but i got to find it. Or something you want me to post. Oh. Can you please announce that anyone that comes in Frank's used tires located in 14241 Main Street in Houston says and says G Funk will while paying will receive 10% off all changes, tires, rotations, and air conditioner servicing for the month of March. Hopefully you can have some reach here in Texas. Well there you go. So if anyone goes to Frank's used tires located on 14241 Main Street in Houston, same G Funk and you get 10% off. Um, hopefully I can get some more uh, you get some good customers and uh, maybe some more viewers. Uh, I also want to talk NCAA. Um, my bracket, kind of, I still have my final four guys in. Um, it's just a matter of for how long. Um, cross my fingers with that because I, you know, I'm not very good with. I've never done good at March Madness brackets. They've been terrible for me, and I've 
you know, like I said, first week I'm on my final four or, or even my final two got the two championship or one of my championship teams I pick is gone. So um, the fact that my final four teams are still in the hunt, crossing my fingers. Uh, my fan, one of my fancy drafts earlier, um, I, for baseball, my team doesn't look too bad. But like I said, I'm not not really uh, too sure about the, how that league's going to go. And what else? There's not something to talk about. I couldn't remember what it was. Mr. X said something earlier, and I couldn't remember what he said. Oh, um, the NFL Jets traded. This is big news. Jets traded up. They were sixth. They were supposed to go in the sixth round pick, and they moved up to three, right behind the Giants. That to me means they're either going to take, they're probably going to take a quarterback because there's only top really good four quarterbacks in the draft, and by the time they get to six, they might be gone. So they traded a couple of second round picks for this year and next year. So I don't think they didn't really give up that much to get it. So, like I said, I, that's that's good for them. Um, I don't know what the Giants. Are. I really don't know. I think I pick a quarterback. I think I pick the running back Barkley. To me, if they can have Eli for a couple more years, take Barkley now because you need a game changing running back, and I think that would be great for them. I really have a good good feel for him just because he's you know, Giants have never had a. a Big name running back, you know. They've had you know a couple of guys who've been good, you know, not superstars, but not you know game changing guys who're going to break a run for you know 60, 70, 80 yards, 90 yards for a touchdown, you know. So um, if they get Barkley, from what I've seen him, he's he's one of those running backs, and I think if you need a balanced attack, and because Eli can't throw the ball, you know, 50 times a game, you know, so you got to have at least him run the ball, you know, between 15, 20, 25 times a game to at least get some yards and, and keep Eli fresh and not have him. You know, you know, you can't have him out there throwing his arm out every freaking game. Um, what else? Uh, Yankees looking good. Like I said, I don't, I don't preseason baseball really means nothing to me. Like you can, as long as everyone stays healthy, no one gets hurt in the preseason. That's all that matters to me. I think for any team, any anyone who's a sports fan doesn't want your team, any one of your big players or any of your good players getting hurt in preseason because if they do. They, your season's going to start out very shitty. I sent others on another link. What did you send the other one to, John Wayne? Because I don't see any on here. Did you send them to an email, or did you send them to my to the... Um, I don't see it on here, man. Hold on, let me take a look again. see it, man. The only ones I saw was the one about the... Uh, oh, wait. I don't see it, man. I don't know where you put it, because I do not see it. Anyways, uh, actually, I, want to, I wish Mr. X was here because he'd have a lot more perspective on the wrestling and uh, probably the, the top ten uh, movies, sports movies I want to do. I don't know what next topic I'm going to do. Might do a wrestling, definitely do a wrestling podcast. Um, we're going to do, um, I'm going to have Jay Breezy on with Mr. X. We're going to do a, a trivia, a wrestling trivia game between those two. I'm going to be the host because I they know way more than I do. Like, I know certain things, but they remember stuff way, way further back than I, I can ever remember. And then um, we're going to do um, a WrestleMania uh, uh, review of the matches and stuff and predictions. Probably the weekend of WrestleMania. Uh, like I said, it's still a few weeks away. Um, <laughs> Mr. X joins. So he's going to crush Jay Breezy in the, in the thing. Well, we'll see. Like I said, we'll see what happens. It says two comments. I don't see it, man. What was it? Just send it to me now. Ask, ask me now, dude, because I don't see it on there. I don't see it. Oh, Mr. X is on a work call, but he's watching. Well, that's good, Mr. X. I'm glad you're watching. I wish you could have joined me, but... You know, I know work beckons, unfortunately, at times. But unless John can dig up his next question... Ward just said he, uh, <laughs> what the fuck, Ward said he got engaged thanks to my advice. 
Um, I gave him last year or whatever it was, a year and a half ago, whenever he sent me the last email. Um, but he's a good guy. Uh, I mean, we're graduating high school together. He was a good guy. And, uh, not the most popular dude, but he was cool. Dewey Humboldt, my final four guys, my final four teams are still in the hunt. I still have. They haven't got knocked out yet, so. But the rest of my bracket's been messed up, but I still have my final four. The final four teams I picked are still in the hunt. They still haven't got eliminated yet, so I got a shot. I had a, a great St. Patty's Day, Mr. John Wynn. Thank you. Um, what is uh, your other stuff here? Um, do you have a favorite episode of Raw ever? Um, oh, yeah, I didn't see. I wonder what happened to those. I think I saw those. Um, I think my favorite episode of Raw ever was, I have a couple of them, but the first one I think was the Stone Cold Beer Truck one is my number one. And then the, the Daniel Bryant Yes movement when everyone came to the ring and everything. That was pretty cool. Um, uh, I can't stand The Miz. Do you like him? At first I didn't like The Miz, but he kind of grew on me. I just think he's a good, he's, he's a solid in-ring performer. Um, he's great on the mic. And he, he's a good heel, man. Like, he's probably one of the best heels we got right now. So, um, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, he, you know I, love, I love him as the Intercontinental Champion. It, it, he's, he, he's funny. He's, uh, and he's, enter like, so he's entertaining, to say the least. What is your favorite holiday? Oof. Christmas. And I like the 4th of July. Your recent shows got me thinking, what kind of qualifications? It doesn't, it got cut off, man. It doesn't let me read the rest of it. So. Sorry about that. Uh, whatever is watching. I'm so I love the show. Um, oh, Dewey Humble. Who's going to win? I picked... Um, what did I pick for my final four? Hold on. I got my thing right here. I can tell you. Uh, wait, who's this? Someone just emailed me. Uh, oh, no. Never mind. Um, let me check out my... Hold on. I'm going to get to my... Final Four, and I picked Xavier to win it all, Dewey. Um, like I said, I don't know anything about fan about college basketball, but I looked at the the record and I looked at you know how they did during the season. And the you know, I was going based on what I saw. Um, hold on, I'll tell you right now. My Final Four teams are. I have. I have. Xavier is one, um, Villanova, Kentucky, and Kansas are my final four teams, which are so far in the mix. Uh, oh, here we go. John, I got the rest of the thing. Uh, your recent show got me thinking what kind of qualifications or life experience do you, Mr. X, have that you take questions from viewers about all random topics. Not that I don't appreciate your views, I'm just not sure... Like I said, man, I, I'm, not, I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not a shrink, but like I said, I, I've been through a lot of stuff in my life, and I know some things, and, you know, I, I've taken advice from people before who I hardly knew, but, and not saying it helped me, but, you know, I never know. Um, so now, I regard, I sent you a phone request, but never accepting you. Oh, you know what, I might have deleted it by accident, man, because I got a bunch of random people ones, like, I get, you know, so send me it again, I'll, I'll accept it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Do we humble Kentucky? You're amazing, Joe. Well, let me paste the whole thing. Ah, whatever. Um, yeah, dude, I picked. Uh, like I said, I think. Uh, like I said I had Kentucky, Xavier, Villanova, and Kansas in the final four. I don't know. I, I said I'm not. I don't follow college basketball. All I know is, you know, I know NBA, and I can't stand watching NBA anymore. So, like I said, this time of year, I like watching, you know, John Wood, how to scroll over 185 pounds. Nia Jax. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, folks, that's all I got for today. Um, I'll be doing another video, hopefully soon. Hopefully I'll have Mr. X back on. Like I said, he had a last-minute um, meeting that she said, uh, you know, he's watching, but he can't. He couldn't join because he's on a, on a business call. So, um, the folks, uh, I will talk to you soon. Mr. X will hopefully join me next time. Uh, I got a, um, like I said, we're going to do a couple more shows. Uh, <laughs> so I don't even know what he meant. I don't know. You have to, you have to ask him next time. I'll ask him next time. 
about my history. I don't know what your history was, man. That's why I said I don't know. Maybe because you, I don't know. What did you, I don't even remember. But folks, until next time, G-Funk. I gotta go. I'll see you when I see you.